there, there is a time frame. Uh, when she lays her eggs, she's going to protect the nest for a couple days, maybe a day, uh, maybe just a night, you know what I'm saying? But she's going to protect it first, and he'll be gone. And, you know, Toledo Bend, I caught that big one at Toledo Bend. I, the buck was there, and, and all this kind of happened through that hour and some kind of process. They did their deal. The buck left. She was the only one there, so she had to protect it. Same thing at the end of the show when I caught that big one. I actually fished for that fish earlier in the day, but it was it was a it was a buck about this big. I, my, my, I think my worm at the last time I was trying to catch it, so I get him out of there, was about that long, and it still I still couldn't catch him. I mean, I was down like six pound test on a little one alt hook, trying to get him to bite something so I could get him out of there, but. Um, when I came back to that one, he was gone. She was there by herself. It didn't take me two flips, and I ended up catching. So, but what I'm saying is, it, that fish right there, it, like if they're sitting there just like that, she she's catchable. But the the rolling around part and all that stuff, it's it's going to take you it's going to take you some time to uh, to get her to bite, or you just need to leave and come back and then try her later because she's in that process. So it's kind of when she's done. Then she knows there's eggs there, she'll protect. And you'll see because there'll be brim and stuff. You know, I guess the uh, fish eggs and stuff, they give off some kind of scents and, and things like that. So there'll be brim around. You, you can tell when, when things happen. I never catch, if there's two in there, I always catch the female first. So <laughs> this, is where, this is where it gets fun. I always, I always have a rod rigged up during tournament situations for that for that situation the first rod has no hook in it none it's nothing but a screw in sinker i mean a screw in deal like a hitchhiker deal and uh, it's the same bait but it has no hook in it because the buck's going to bite first right so you get him fired up and she's fired up and you can always watch this He'll bite and he'll take off swimming. She'll follow it. He'll spit it out and you watch what happens over there. When he spits it out, she eats it off the bed most of the time in my in my situation because he's had it. He's done like got irritated with it. She knows that. So like she, you know she'll swim right with him. Like where are you going? And then she'll stop, spit the bait out. You can hop it nine times out of ten. She'll she'll eat it every time. But if not, you got to be tricky. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be like, all right, he's got it. Or a team situation is perfect. But for just you by yourself, angler, you know, you have two of them rigged up the same. Flip in there like that. Let him swim. Do not catch him. Do not, if you catch him, you're done. In some kind of situation. If he takes off swimming and she never leaves the bed, smoke him. You see what I'm saying? If she's going to stay there and protect the bed while he swims off with your bait, reel that one in and flip in there and smoke him. If he's not a keeper, pull your power poles up, run him out there about a mile on the lake, <laughs> drop him off. You only got about 10 minutes because he's coming right back. <laughs> lake Norman was down there fishing a tournament. I found a five and a half pounder on Lake Norman. That's a giant. So I go in there like this and it's a, he's not even a keeper. So I catch him. I run him about 100 yards down the pocket. You know, threw him out. He, he beat me back to the bed. <laughs> I said, okay. So now I spent another 30 minutes trying to catch him again because she wouldn't, she wouldn't do nothing. She, I, mean, I mean, I could do whatever. But when he'd swim off, she'd go straight to bed. I knew when I caught him. So I caught him this time. That's right. I run him about a mile out in the lake. And then I came back. He he never beat me back that time. Then and, and ended up I ended up catching it on the first day. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.